Toby. Simone? Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. Hey. Yeah. Uh, this is it. Ooh. This is nice. Uh, how long have you been here for? Uh, about two years. Do you live with anyone? Uh, my sister, but she's, uh, she's in Byron Bay at the moment. I'll be back for a few days. How about you? I live with Pete. <laughs> my dog. <laughs> Pete the dog, of course. You know, I'm not surprised you became an author. Why? I used to write all the time at camp. <laughs> I'd spot you on your cabin steps, just <laughs> scribbling away. You were watching me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. We all were. Everyone had a massive crush on you. Oh, no, they didn't. They did. They <sighs> did. <laughs> I did. You know, one time I um, I remember coming back from the bonfire and I saw you kissing that rock climbing dickhead. <laughs> it wasn't a dickhead. He was a dickhead and <laughs> I was so jealous. Ah. <laughs> Were you ever jealous of the girls that were with me? What girls? So you didn't lie to me? Not even a little bit? I have an idea. Uh, what? Whack camp. Uh, we didn't really know each other that well. Because I was too scared to talk to you, but good news, I'm not now. So? So, uh, so why don't we spend the day getting to know each other? Do you have plans? I was going to write, but I can do that tomorrow. Perfect. So, Simone from camp. Thank you. Yeah. Instead of getting to know each other with boring questions, which are oh so boring, why don't we jazz it up a bit? How? Um, tail. Dog trainer? Dog dog walker? No. What? Re? Retail. I work, in, I work in retail. You suck at trades. That was good. That was good. That was terrible. That was terrible. That was an authentic performance. <laughs> Jeez <laughs> Louise, I can't believe. Oh my god. Uh, Do you like it? Retail? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's okay for now, I guess. Well, what do you want to do? Don't judge me. I promise. I mean it. Thank you.
that's it. That's that's all I've got so far. Oh, but it's uh, really good. <laughs> thanks. It's a present for my friend's daughter. Don't think she'll mind if we test it out. What are we doing? Ta-da! A recreation of our summer camp. <laughs> this is my cabin. And this, this one is yours. Oh. Well, why do I get the homemade one? Oh, because this, this is the best one. You can't beat a personal touch. All right. Let's pretend we're back at camp. What? Except this time, I'll actually talk to you. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting in my cabin and you're walking past. Go. <laughs> Simone, hey, did you go to the lake today? Hey, apparently you're really good at um, archery. Uh, I was being told. Yeah, and my archery sucks. I, I stink. Do you reckon maybe we I can- I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I, uh, I have another idea. I want a 50s kind of love. I want a heart that isn't so messed up. I want the pure stuff that I once dreamed of. Mess all the dirt under the rug. I want a 50s kind of love. Shining black and white, simply enough. No real earth, no complications of. That no good, nasty, real love. I want a 50s kind of love. tell you because it's a secret and if I told you then oh. it's not a secret so, anymore. Okay, so I'll just uh, and my, discover. My nana would kill me. Oh, so it is a real secret. So uh, how old were you when you published your first book? 26. 26? Mm -hmm. So I have one more year. What for? To make it. <laughs> I, uh, I want to be a touring guitarist. Isn't that really hard to get into? No harder than anything else. Look at you. You got it done, didn't you? Yeah, but Toby, writing's my life. I I started writing when I was twelve. I, I got my first agent when I was nineteen. It's my life. It's all I've ever done. Good at it. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Like just don't you need like phenomenal skills to tour? Nice. Really nice. Toby! Toby, I'm... I'm sorry it came out wrong. It's okay. What do you want to do now? Do you want to play cards? I don't have any. Toby. Hi, I'm Simone. I'm one of the camp counsellors. I've seen you around, but we haven't spoken that much. Did you hear there's a bonfire party tonight? You going with anyone? I could chaperone you. <laughs> Fuck off. Fine. I'll just go with the... Uh, Rock climbing dickhead then? No! No. I'm sorry. It's okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>
can I admit something without you judging me? Sure. Two years ago, I looked you up. You stalked me. <laughs> no, I just... Mm. Wanted to see what you look like. And? You look like this. You don't look any different. Still insanely beautiful. Hey! Hey, babe. Hey! Oh, I forgot my passport. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, I don't know where I put it. Oh, hi. I'm Lucy, Toby's girlfriend. Uh, this is, this is mine. We, um, we went to camp together. Oh, how sweet. Hi. Hi. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> Seriously? How long? Two years. Oh my god, I'm such a fucking idiot. I should have known yeah. that you... It's not, it's not your fault. Oh, I, I, I... How many times have you cheated? Huh? Never. <laughs> like, I've never cheated. I just... I... I've had a crush on you for so oh god, long. And so I don't really like you. Do you even have a sister? No. She needs to. Tell her. Tell her or I will. Is everything okay? Toby? Well, that's all. What was that? Tobes, I gotta go. I'm gonna miss this flight. Sorry. Out on a fifties kind of look. Out on a heart that isn't so messed up. Out on Welcome to Behind the Scenes of Timing. My name is Holly Hargraves. I'm the writer-director. That's me. Story and script. 
Now, just in case anyone was a little bit confused about the story, I just want to clear it up. So when she was 25 and he was 15, they worked at a summer camp together. She was a counselor. He was a junior counselor. Nothing ever happened. They never hooked up. They didn't kiss. They were barely friends. He just had a secret crush on her. Then camp ends. 10 years goes by. They don't speak or see each other. And then they're running to each other at the park. I just wanted to clarify that in case anyone was a little bit confused about that casting. So for the character of Toby, I needed someone who was about 25 and had that sort of sweet geeky vibe. So I jumped on Star Now and popped a casting notice on there and got about 100 applicants and I auditioned 30 of them. And I got some really great self tapes from Melbourne actors who fitted the bill. But the two that I shortlisted were Isaac Crowley and Jackson Peel. That's so awesome. You know, I'm not surprised you became an author. Why? Um... Well, you're always writing at camp. Jackson Peel's Toby was really deep and romantic and thoughtful, and I really loved that. I thought they were great qualities for Toby. So obviously I ended up casting Isaac Crawley, and I did because I really loved his playfulness and his ability to ad-lib. Move it a little bit. Gross, no. <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> I think you did. And for the character of Simone, I cast Pip Edwards. Pip Edwards is a working actor in Australia. She's been on Home and Away and Anzac Girls and a couple of other stuff. And we met at a film festival in Sydney in 2018. And I just messaged her on Facebook and I was like, hey, I've got this film. Would you be in it? She's such a great actress to work with. With the girlfriend of Lucy, I cast my friend Lee. We're friends. And I was like, hey, do you want to be in it? She was like, yep. So that was pretty easy. Pre-production. So before we did the colored powdered scene, I actually tested it out myself before we shot. I just wanted to make sure that it would come off really easily on the skin and hair before I asked the actors to do it. And so luckily it does come off really easily on the skin, but it did take a good few washes to come out of my hair. So I warned the actors that they both said they were cool with it. So we went ahead and shot the scene and I'm so glad we did because I think visually it looks stunning. Okay, so I'm about to go to the location and I've just got my lights and my clapperboard and all all of that stuff and my shot list and my schedule and my suitcase everything here we have the gifts that i got the crew and cast everyone did this for volunteer except for the soundie but then i felt kind of bad not getting the soundie a gift as well so i got the soundie a gift too and yeah nothing special just little little things but i think it's nice to say thank you especially when people are doing things volunteer and then we're here i am extremely tired i've been running around like a headless truck all day we're shooting first thing tomorrow morning just in the background we're ready to go so the shoot was really fun. We shot over a period of two days and the crew was super small. We just had the DP, the soundy me and the three actors. So the DP shot this on a red dragon with a cook speed lens post-production. So I edited it and Josh Bailey did the color grade. He did such an amazing job at the color grade. Josh is a filmmaker as well and has his own channel. I'll link his channel in the description below. I had an absolute blast shooting this. It was such a great cast and crew. I love having small cast and crew. It was a really great set. This has been the BTS of timing and I'll see you guys on my next video and my next short film. The only way we're going to get this off is to shower. Well, I'll take the other one. You can uh, use this one. It's um, got shampoo and stuff in there. Oh, uh, yeah? Okay.